Hey, welcome. This is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, bringing you another episode of the Giga Semi uh, drone coverage and construction video for Tuesday, August 13th, 2025. This is Tuesday morning, about 8.30 in the morning through about 9. And um, I failed miserably at catching any of the giant uh, stamping presses being delivered despite, mostly because I was on vacation, I think, but even then, um, I would have to fly an awful lot to try to have the right timing. I have been lucky in the past, but in this case, I failed you, the viewer, by not being able to catch any of those two stamp giant stamping machines. I believe they are both inside. There will still be a steady flow of equipment from Giga Texas storage, all of that orange wrapped uh, equipment that you could see um, in Joe Tegmeyer's video, videos, are those are still to be delivered. That is the guard shack, the new guard shack, um, the beginning of the construction of this new guard shack, which will allow trucks and vehicles to pull in out of the way of Milan Avenue so that they can um, check their credentials. More about all these cars later. There's a, there's a lot of cars parked up here um, using the shuttle service. There's a little shelter that was there before the guard shack, right next to the guard shack. And it is, um, there's a massive amount of work going on at the LFP factory down on Milan across the street from the um, prototype semi-factory. Uh, and a crazy amount of workers and you'll see later and I'll actually do a separate video showing all of the uh, vehicles um, there's serious work going on in there they showed us video of um, of what looked like a completed LFP assembly line there but either they're replicating it or there's uh, Optimus going on there or they're um, still working on that Okay, here we have a nice view. There's that guard shack and that shelter that I talked about and all those cars parked. Um, I think a vast majority of those cars parked up there are being shuttled over to the LFP battery factory. And you can see why. There's signs along the road saying um, additional parking up here. The road, both sides of the road are littered with parked cars and uh, Tesla safety vests going in and out. humans with Tesla safety vests going in and out. And so here we have the new, here's the mega charger and that, if you look closely, you can see the new style cabinet um, that they're going, that's going to support the mega charger. Uh, they've cleverly disguised them as uh, porta potties. Um, they're actually cleverly disguised mega charger, mega charger cabinets, and you'll see more. And that's to um, prevent vandalism, discourage vandalism. And that is, in fact, tongue in cheek. You can see all of the new train, I believe it's train a, uh, AC units that are on the roof here. Correct me if I'm wrong, I believe we saw that in the past and I did have a viewer ask. All of that equipment there is staged and I do not believe that's permanent. There's a large air conditioned uh, trailer there and let's just take a look around. One of the big news is, is the, the Manitowoc crane is done with the east side and is possibly moving over to the stamping section. Also, for the first time ever, we're, we've begun the, the massive paving on the south side of the building has commenced and all of those trucks are carrying asphalt to be fed into that asphalt um, paving machine. And um, you can see that the Section C and Section D along the south end look to have all of the AC units installed. The far right corner, the far south 
um, east corner, northeast corner right there we're looking at, looks like it's prepared for something, uh, a bunch of additional AC units or something different, maybe um, heavy duty ventilation equipment. But that is the only area, and now you can see here, there are still a few um, bases for AC units where they have not been installed. That may be where the train, is, the uh, crane, is working its way over to place those final four AC units. And then again, there's a large grid base similar to the northeast corner here by the entrance that is either for a row of AC units or um, something different, ventilation or something to that effect. Nice look at that um, Manitowoc, Manitowoc crane. And you'll see later, I had no idea, um, be looking through my little drone viewer, that the um, crane was actually moving. You'll see later that it was, but um, first we take, first we fly over and see what's going on with the gantry crane. By the way, this might be a good time to mention in my last video, I asked you, the viewer, to mention what you think is missing. I saw something conspicuously absent on my Saturday flight, three days before this flight. And that was humans. Even on a Saturday and even on a Sunday, I have never, ever seen zero humans working. I, I don't believe there's a single human captured in um, last Saturday's video. And that is unprecedented. Now I heard that there was a massive amount of activity on Sunday. So I'm guessing that um, they took Saturday off and went all in on, on, um, on Sunday. I think I see bases for AC units there, but not on the tall section. Not on the tallest section of, st sec of stamping section G, but I believe I see some room for um, AC units, some bases for AC units on the lower part of section G. And that would explain also correlates with the fact that they haven't put, um, they haven't paved this area yet, allowing room, f allowing for the crane to uh, position itself over here. We'll see, I'll fly tomorrow. I'll fly, I'm, I'm gonna fly like every two days because I don't have a job. I am retired as of July 31st. So I would, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna grovel a little bit here and ask that if you are interested in Tesla Semi or the construction of the Tesla Semi high volume factory that you take a minute and um, subscribe or um, follow um, as, a, as an interim step, as the, as the easiest step, and um, help this channel get a little bit more traction. I, by virtue of having more time, will endeavor to make it even more interesting. All right, what's going on here? Gantry crane, they're, t they're disassembling it, and there is that, there's that crawler unit that, um, can move heavy equipment around, which probably was used to move those stamping machines in. But so the gantry crane is, be gantry crane is being disassembled. Have they finished with it? Or are they repositioning it? Stay tuned to find out as we're gonna fly about every two days, except when I go fishing. I always say people who get bored in retirement don't fish. Here's a beautiful view of the um, northwest corner of the building and the surrounding area. Legacy Giga Nevada GF1 in the background. The crane. From here, I'm going to live up to my promise and I'm going to run over to the um, big dog Tesla Semi that's been standing guard over this construction site for several months. First, let's take a look around. Massive amount of construction. 
including a, a building of interest that we're about to see. This huge building coming into view right now, that tan building, ha occupies a, an amazing uh, location in terms of view. However, it has no windows. The reason it has no windows is, is because it's a server farm. The million dollar question is, is it a cloud server farm, a boring cloud server farm, or is it an AI server farm? If you know anything about that building, the owner of the building, um, let me know, and also let me know if you want me to um, do a video of it. Look at all the cars parking along the road. The building in the center right is the LFP factory, and there are cars parked all up and down Milan, which has never happened before. Um, and so there's a lot going on. This is the building, the twin Milan, twin, one of the two Milan twin buildings that went up pretty expeditiously. Pretty, and um, next to it is the second of the Milan twin um, sites where I fly the drone from. And when they move up there, we're going to um, we're gonna have to find a new spot. Now notice that that little crawler is, is moving. Um, it is moving that large beam from the gantry crane. Going to the north. So maybe they've finished. Here, those are those bases, by the way. I was going to say, maybe they finished with all of the equipment in Section G. Um, but we did just see what looked like at least three bases for AC units in the stamping section. Now we're going to go pay a visit to the um, big dog Tesla Semi with super single tires and um, see if there happens to be an, another Easter egg placed there. And Tesla Semi account, Tesla Semi folks, show us some love by um, putting a cardboard cutout of John Wayne or someone in the uh, Bill Gates would be hilarious. Oh God, they got to do that. I might buy the Bill Gates cutout if you can buy one. That would be hilarious to see Bill Gates cut out in the driver's seat in the window of this. Sometimes I have brilliant ideas and that's got to be one of them. Forget John Wayne. Let's go with, let's go with Bill Gates because he said the Tesla Semi would, ne would never happen. Bless his heart. Then I see the never happening Tesla semis doing work every day. Every day I drive by USA Parkway on I-80 going into Reno or on my way to, to uh, up Electric Avenue to get to fly the drone for this coverage. There is another warning. There's another six minutes of coverage of this video. So um, this is for the real nerds who really like uh, the Tesla Semi and the romantic 360 flight around it, looking for, looking for some sort of Easter egg. It's a beautiful vehicle, you got to admit. Imagine this as, as the um, front of a luxury RV. Those are those super single tires I mentioned. You can see in the background there's geotextile materials been laid down and the grater is spreading um, gravel and um, being, it's being rolled prior to the uh, asphalt. In a minute, we're going to go over and see the Man Manitowoc crane and um, Jones on it for a while. And notice, and only, only when I was viewing this video on my laptop did I notice that it was actually crawling its way over to a new spot. So when I fly tomorrow, um, I expect that it'll be positioned somewhere in there next to the main entrance to, to place a few more AC units and then moving over to place um, 
AC units on section G and then and then all the AC units will be placed and that Manitowoc crane can go. I think we just saw the shadow of the drone. That was kind of cool. We should have some romantic music playing in the background. Grader in the top left doing its work. Paving going on up in the top right. And now we're going to go over and take a look at the uh, crane. You can see more light posts have been positioned here and possibly some, and probably some charging, some superchargers, or not superchargers, but um, destination chargers. So that, the, those rows of vehicles are support vehicles for the crane. And when we get closer, we find we can see that it's actually moving. Again, we're going to do the um, almost 360 shot of the crane because who doesn't like cranes you might even say cranes have something to do with semis notice that the weight is forward um, because the crane is up high and it's moving and I'm no expert on cranes, but when it starts placing material, that all those weights slide back on that um, jig. If you've ever had a driveway asphalt um, paved, you know that this is a uh, not this is a quite a large contract for the local asphalt paver that got the that got the contract. I think they someone mentioned that it was a that they had got the contract. I think on Facebook, which I'm not on, but my neighbor is, and he mentioned that somebody was bragging about the amount of um, asphalt involved in this project, just like someone previously working for the, the um, concrete company mentioned how much concrete was involved. All right, here's the guy standing and talk and communicating with the driver. Here's where you notice this thing is moving ever so slowly. Had I known it, I would have stuck with it a little bit longer, but that's a hell of a crane. You can see there's three spots there, at least, for um, AC units that we just saw. Mount Tesla. Many people wonder what's going on with solar and um, the rendering of this building never does not show any solar on it, but there's enough land in the surrounding area. That particular Mount Tesla is um, east facing, but um, even though south facing is technically the, the ideal uh, alignment for solar, east facing is good because it, uh, uh, west facing I should say is good because it provides um, solar in the in the afternoon when demand can be the highest and those are those secret mega charger cabinets and thanks for joining